I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Monday, February 28th, the scripture reading is from the second chapter of Joel, verses 1 and 2, and verses 12 through 17. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, it is near. A day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness, like blackness spreads upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will we nor will be again after them in ages to come. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful. Slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a peace, a fast. Call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation. Assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them, spay, let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples, Where is their God? Return. God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Verse 13. I was not looking forward to the trip home. After spending a month in New Zealand, I dreaded the 24 hours of travel back to Minnesota. I was it was going to be a long journey, lacking the same type of excitement as the one that took me away. The return trip was going to be hard, but it was made easier because my family's love was waiting to receive me when I got home. Today we hear the summons to God's people to return to come back again to God. Such turning again towards God can be hard. The journey of repentance can be rending. But Joel reminds us that it's God's nature that makes such a return possible for the people of old, and for us. Because God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, repentance is not a journey of fear, but of hope. It is a journey that concludes with, Welcome home, people of God. Welcome home. Our prayer. Merciful God, turn me from my wanderings toward my home in you, through Christ. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.